Alright guys, step number five is actually getting your item listed. The first step to getting your item sold is listing your item for sale on Amazon Seller Central. Go ahead and jump onto your computer and open up AmazonSellerCentral.com. Log into your account and then hover your cursor over the inventory tab in the top left of the web page. Choose the fourth option which is add a product. From here, enter in the name of the product, the UPC code, the ISBN, or the ASIN. Once you find your product, choose used, then click sell this product. From here, you are prompted to add a price. I highly recommend using the site Keepa.com to check out the price of your product and find the competitive pricing. Simply go to Keepa.com, click the search icon, then enter in the information for your product. So probably the ASIN or the ISBN. Hover your cursor over the used icon to the right of the graph. Here you can see current use price of your item. Go ahead and enter the information that we just found and then enter in a quantity. After that, choose which condition that best fits your item you're sending in. My motto is under promise over deliver, which basically means if you think the item could be sold in like new condition, go ahead and list it under very good. That way when your customer receives this item, he or she will be extremely happy and leave you a 5 star review. Once you add the condition, click on the advanced view option, scroll until you see condition note, go ahead and leave a detailed description of the item you are selling. You don't have to give too much detail, but let the buyer know if there are any obvious scratches or blemishes on the product. I always end my condition note with this sentence. This item will be shipped directly from Amazon Warehouse. This helps the buyer feel confident when ordering your item. Go ahead and click save. This next page is basically letting you know that you need to label your products. Each item needs to be labeled with a specific barcode. This barcode can be one of two things, either the original barcode from the manufacturer or an Amazon barcode you can print at home. If you don't want to print out the labels at home, you can pay Amazon a 20 cents fee, 20 cent fee to label your item for you. I recommend paying Amazon until you are ready to start sending in a large number of items. Next, click save and continue. Depending on your product, you may be asked whether or not there are dangerous materials in your package. Try not to lie about this step because lying can lead to a ban of your account. So in this next step, it's basically asking you whether or not these are individual products or case packed products. So basically what this means is, is it the same item, you know, 50 of the same item, which basically usually that refers to wholesale or if it's individual products such as selling books and you're shipping in 50 different books. Choose whichever option fits your products best and then click next. Next, enter in the number of units that you are sending in. With this um, example, I'm just sending in one book and it's one copy. Choose whether or not your products need extra prepping. This feature is used for sending in things like liquids or extremely fragile products. Print your labels here if you are not choosing to have Amazon do it for you. Here you can see that shipping label is prepared and ready to go. Click agree and continue. To add another product, follow the exact same steps, but instead of creating a new shipping plan, click add to existing and choose the plan you just created for your last product you listed. So once you have added all the products, click on work on shipment. On this page you will need all the different weights for all the different packages that you're sending in, so just hold on until you do the next step. Alright guys, so step number six. So hopefully you have gone out and hopefully sourced your first few products and you've got them listed on Amazon FBA. You're probably feeling either super nervous or super excited and that's okay because both are very, very common. The next step in your Amazon FBA journey is something that's not really talked about too much and that's shipping. But that's okay because I'm going to go pretty detailed into how to do your shipping and some good tips on when you're doing it. So now that you have listed all your items and you have them in a shipping plan on Amazon Seller Central, it's time to package your items. For an example, I will be showing you how to send in books. Basically just follow the same steps using the product that you're sending in. Okay, so I normally use uh, Home Depot boxes when I'm doing my shipping. Um, Amazon doesn't let you send in over 50 pounds per box in the very beginning. I know when you start selling more, uh, you can apply to have up to 70 pounds that you can ship in. But uh, when you're first starting, Amazon only lets you ship in up to 50 pounds. So I have found that when you're sending in books, um, 
the Home Depot extra small boxes. Um, they usually come out to around you know 40 to 50 pounds when you fill them full of books. So I definitely recommend doing that. Um, you can get them for about 70 cents. Uh, I think it's pretty worth it. In the very beginning, if you don't have very much money, uh, just go to your local grocery store and ask them if they have uh, boxes that you can have. Or go on Facebook Marketplace and just look up boxes. A lot of times people will be uh, getting rid of boxes because they're moving or they just moved and they're just trying to get rid of all their boxes. So, But 70 cents, that's not too bad. You know, you can go buy 50, 50 boxes and that'll keep you... Um, Supplied, I guess. Sorry, um, it'll keep you. You know, you'll have enough boxes for a long time. So, basically, let's get into it. Um, so, when you're shipping in books, it's a really important and a really good idea to tape all three sides. So, usually, I just start in the middle like this. Make sure both the corner, these guys match up really nicely like this and this tape I usually buy bulk from Amazon it's a way better idea definitely don't buy it from any post office or any um, office supply store because they usually rip you off uh, make sure you push in the box edges so you get them nice and aligned just like that and I always tape this outer line always it doesn't matter what I'm shipping in whether it's um, books um, electronics anything like that it's always worth it, mainly just because of water damage, but also it just keeps the boxes a lot stronger. Um, books are really simplistic. People really overthink how they. People really overthink how you're supposed to ship it in. Um, so basically, when you have the label, you're gonna print the label out. I don't have one right now because these books aren't listed, but you're gonna take the label and you're gonna put it on the bottom right corner. Just make sure you cover up any other barcode, any other manufacturer barcode, or any used bookstore. If you bought it from a used bookstore, sometimes they put their own labels on there. Just make sure you cover those up with your um, Amazon shipping label. Uh, you can sh print the shipping labels, one of two options. Um, you can either get a printer and you can buy the 30 label up paper. I'll put a uh, picture of it right now, but you can either do it that way, or you can, if you have a little bit of extra money, I recommend buying a uh, Dymo printer. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, they're super convenient and you don't ever have to pay for ink so it pays for itself after a little while. But anyway, so you basically just put the label right here. Um, like I said, this book I would pretty much I would list it as acceptable because if it can get me a five star review, this book is worth a lot more money to me personally. Um, so yeah, anyway, so let's get to it. So like I said, um, people definitely overthink how you're supposed to package these. Um, if you want to, you can provide box content. It's a very good idea because it'll help get your um, inventory processed and upload faster so people can buy it faster, which is a really good idea. So what you can do is you can write down each um, each book that you're putting in a box and you can uh, label, you can make sure you keep it organized so you know box one has this, this, this and this. You can do that or you can um, go and pay for a scan lister and scan lister is a really good, uh, good program because as you put the bo uh, block, the jeez, as you put the book inside the box, you scan it, and Scan Lister will upload the box content for you. Um, it's really easy, but it does cost a little bit of extra money. Um, let me know if you want a uh, tutorial on how to on how to use Box Lister. I mean Scan Lister. I can definitely make that for you. So yeah, basically, um, just put the biggest books in the bottom, and then slowly work your way up, just like this. Um, I usually try to put um, smaller books like this. I'll put them on the side just like that. So, let's see, something like this. Also, inventory placement is something um, I definitely recommend. Um, just because it. For me personally, the faster my books get into the shipment, and the faster they get uploaded, the faster they can sell. I think that's way better. Um, it does cost a little bit of extra money, so if you're in the very beginning, you're just trying to make some money. Don't do inventory placement. But let's see.
Okay, so pretty much that's how I would uh, box up my box of books. Really, you just got to put them in there. Um, people think it's way more complicated than it really is. It's really not too bad. Um, if you have any spots that are empty, you can fill it with things such as this. Um, like I said, I don't do this too often. Um, if there are a bunch of rare and really expensive books, maybe I will. But I, books, you know, books you just got to put in there. You know, it's not really... See, that's not even going to work. Um, so, yeah, you could fill your boxes with some stuff like this. You could use newspaper. Um, it's There's no requirement. And then you just box it up once again like this. Same thing. Just make sure... When you push the box in, let's see, let's see if I get a better angle here. Okay, so when you push it, push it in with your thumbs. To make sure they're really nice and snug in there. Rather than just pushing it in there, push it in with your thumbs and then put the tape over. And this gets a really nice seal and a really nice smooth, smooth seal. See, if I put it on just like this, you can see how there's this little line right here. Push it that in and make sure they're um, aligned really nicely. That'll help keep the box nice and secure it also so it'll also really help um, the strength of the box if the box is you know falling over or whatever you want the box to be as secure as possible and yeah that's pretty much it guys um, people definitely try to make it way more complicated than it really needs to be so yeah don't don't spend too much time worrying about how you're putting your bo uh, books in the box make sure they're secure make sure you tape all three edges um, just to prevent any water damage, especially during winter. It's a really important thing. But, uh, yeah, with books, guys, just put them in there. Make sure they're secure and tape all three edges. So now that you have sent in inventory, you know the buying process, you know the shipping process. The next step is building an Amazon account with credibility. In the very beginning, five-star reviews are so incredibly important it's really worth it to just list every single book as good, even if it's like new. This will lead to a lot more five-star reviews. Also, if the buyer contacts you and says that you know the item they received isn't what they had in mind, go ahead and refund them, send a message, tell them that they can keep the book, and they'll get their refund. The majority of this time, the time, this will give you a five-star review, which is priceless it you know they're really you can't put a price on how many five star reviews that you can get in the very beginning the majority of refunds will be handled by Amazon because you do Amazon FBA but once in a while you'll get a uh, product inquiry from a customer and it's really good to respond as quickly as possible make the customer happy and make sure you don't get a one star review to do a refund simply follow these steps go to Amazon seller central homepage and hover your cursor above the orders tab then select the first option, Manage Orders. From there, find the order that the customer wishes to be refunded. Click on the order details number, then click Refund at the top right. Here, you can choose whether or not you want to refund the full amount or just a percentage. Remember, having a couple 5-star reviews can really jumpstart your Amazon career, while having a couple 1-star reviews can really, really slow things down. Alright guys, tip number eight, the final tip. Okay, so now that you have successfully gone out and sourced, listed, shipped, and you have a feeling for customer service, it's time to start thinking for the future. When you're sending in 10 items at a time, it's not that time consuming. But when you start sending in 50, 100, 200, 500 items at a time, every second you can save is a huge bonus. Here's a list of software that I use pretty much every single day and you can either check the description or you can go to the resellingtools.com and you can find a list of all the tools that I use pretty much every single day. So I know this video was a bit painful to get through, but honestly, if you have any questions, drop them down below or send me a, you know, private message on Instagram. I know I really wished I had somebody that I could talk to in the beginning, just ask some questions. Um so I'm there if you guys need some help. So, thanks so much for watching. I really hope it helped. Um, good luck guys. I believe in you. Seriously, you can do this. Just keep the consistency going. Keep sending in more products. Keep feeding the beast. And like I said, if you have any questions, drop them down below. And yeah, guys, good luck. You guys got this. I believe in you. I believe in you. You guys got this.